these are my July favorites. Let me count how many I have. I have 24 July favorites, so let's get started. So my first favorite of the month is the Nande Monaya Kawa by Oti. So uh, Oti is best known as the guy who was in Show Me The Money Tree with the remix of That XX done with Zeko. And uh, he was participating in uh, Show Me The Money 6 recently. I will admit, I kind of went searching for what he's been up to since I saw him in Show Me The Money 6 because he looks so good now. I feel like an old Nona, honestly, because he's a 96 liner. Yeah. The cover was done in uh, Korean, I believe. It just sounds so good, and I actually almost couldn't believe it was him because he has this really hard sound when he raps, and for this cover, he just sounded so nice, gentle, and delicate, and it was just amazing. And he covered it not just because he wants to get wheels and stuff like that on his YouTube channel. He genuinely really really likes the movie Your Name. So uh, Nandi Moya is actually from the soundtrack uh, Your Name. And he actually really likes the movie um, because you can see on his Instagram he posted about the movie before. He has like um, signed items from the movie and stuff like that. I really need to watch that movie again and perhaps it might just pop up on my favorites sometime in the future. So number two is uh, day six of July comeback and JYP is definitely going on a good strategy here, okay? To have day six release music every month so far this year. Practically they're actually all my monthly favorites like every month so far for this year. I love how um, the title track for the July single Hi Hello has this very breathy refrains and it just sounds so dreamy and Be Lazy which is the B side to the singer has this really happy relaxed sound to it which matches the song name. Number 3 is uh, Untitled by Epic High X Neo. So Kim Jong Won of Neo has collaborated before with Epic High for Amo Farty which still brings me to tears when I hear it, especially the part that goes Try to run away, run away from the world. Okay, sorry, I never said I'm a good singer. Okay, turns out Epic High and Neil actually wrote a song together which was never recorded or released and apparently has not been performed in 10 years. And you've been performing at the Soul Jazz, Soul Jazz Festival this year. So Epic High's YouTube channel actually gave fan service and released the video of the performance and it's just so beautiful. I, I really cannot understand why it was never recorded or released. Just a slight warning though, if you want to look up the translated lyrics, it's actually kind of sad. Number 4 is Get Out by Nom Tom. Nom Tom made a comeback! It's an amazing one because um, this is his first ever self-produced and written original track that he released and this track is just super lit. You, you just have to listen to it. Number 5! So number 5 is One's debut. So One has finally debuted in July. I've been keeping a lookout for him actually since uh, Show Me The Money 4 and Show Me The Money 5. I really love getting by. It is so cute, breezy, relaxing, and oh my god, the music video is such aesthetic feels. By the way, did you know that it was kind of produced by Chacha Malone, the guy who does it for AOMG? It's kind of nice to see some connection state beyond Show Me The Money because I believe he was in AOMG's team during season 4 or 5? I can't remember which season, but yeah. Hey Ah Hey is like a perfect track to listen to Little Night, it sounds so sexy and this was produced by Groovy Room which is a producer at a higher music, a label that is set up by Jay Park and Chacha Malone so there's still a bit of a ties there In case you are wondering why YG Entertainment did have a hand in producing the tracks with the producer Song Hua Cho I'm so sorry about butchering names Number 6 is uh, Paradise by Milik featuring Fancy Chow. So this is actually a track whereby worlds collide. Milik is a DJ and producer that signed to High Ground and he's in the club Eskimo crew with Dean, Crush and Punchinelle just to name a few. 
and Fancy Child as featured in this track is also a crew that has Ding, Crush, Zico, Panameco, and I think Milik is also in the crew. So yeah, wolves are definitely colliding in this track. I love how this track is just so lit and the music video is kind of trippy a little bit. It reminded me of like kind of like being John Malkovich and also Fight Club a little tiny bit. You, you have to watch it to kind of see what I know uh, what I mean. Number seven is uh, Stay, which is a Japanese version by Blackpink. Oh my god, Blackpink is going to debut in Japan. Like seriously, I think they've already debuted this one. I'm not too sure, but it did everything in August. Um, I found the track actually through recommended videos, and it sounds so good. Okay, Lisa and Jeannie's rap in English is oh my god, it's so lit, and Rose really shines in this song. Jesus harmonization just works so well. I love, love, love that. Number eight is DXM TV. I honestly don't know much about them except that the vocals and rap are done by a guy named Danny L and the music is done by Min. Um, I actually found them through the cover of Zion's T Complex which is a recommended video on my YouTube. I love their style so much that I kind of just put all of their tracks into my Beats playlist. As usual, it's in the link in the description box below to check them out. Um, and yes, please, please, please do check them out. They need more support and I hope they make a comeback soon because I saw that their last video was in May. So yeah. Number 9, Zico's comeback. Zico is back, yo. He made a comeback in July with his album Television at Lucky People in Seoul. Because there was actually an exhibition in uh, CGV, which is a cinema chain, and the exhibition was in Hongdae. Focusing on the release of the album and Joan actually showed it in her vlog. I'll put the link in the description box below so you can see how the exhibition looks like. I love the album as a whole but I super like the title track artist which I can't stop singing in my head which is like We are, we are, we are this baby. We are, we are, we are this baby. Yeah keeps getting stuck in my head and the other title track which is Anti featuring Jisoo and that song is Zico rapping from an Anti's perspective to himself and wow Jisoo's voice is really really good like seriously number 10 is Gucci by Jessie Jessie the Queen made a comeback with her album Universe or you can call it Aniverse and it's so lit I really like Gucci because it's so casually hard and thing and it's kind of like a empowering anthem like you still feel so Gucci after everything so like you feel like so fly you know number 11 is uh, One More Night uh, Ryan Reback Remix by End of the World also known as uh, Sekai no Owari Oppa actually played this track from his Spotify and asked me to guess the artist which I couldn't guess at all because this remix made them sound so different but in a really good way. It's almost like EDM, almost pop punk. It's, it's a very mixed genre type of song. Just kind of have to listen to it. Number 12 is Moe by Sun E. I love Sun E. He has been like so fan servicing on his YouTube channel. You guys have to go and support him, okay? And he always does such amazing tracks and this is another fun amazing one from him. And this song is gonna get that word mohe stuck in your head. It's like mohe, na 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 mohe. Yeah, it's just gonna get stuck in your head. Okay, so that's my warning for you. Um, so yeah, he occasionally responds to comments on his YouTube channel, and when he's there, he always gives you like a heart shape or likes or stuff like that. So yeah, do subscribe to him. He's awesome. Number 13 is the Hola Hola by Card or KRD, I still don't know how to pronounce them, but they finally made the debut. And this song is so catchy and it's such a shock. Oh my god, I'm having trouble pronouncing my words, I'm sorry, I'm really tired. Um, it's such a summer jam, which is like perfect to shake your booty to you and it's kind of like a special present to their fans and they actually call their fandom hidden cards. It's like so cute. Number 14 is uh, Dinosaur by Akmu. So Akdo musician made a summer comeback 
and the name for this summer comeback is called Akmu. The song Dinosaur for this comeback really shows a departure from their usual style. Like really, they go for more slightly more EDM style and it kind of suits them actually. This is definitely going to be a real summer jam. It is really really catchy. Like seriously. Number 15 is Drake's Passion Fruit Cover by Nom Tom. So yes, Nom Tom actually released two songs in July and the second song is a cover. Unfortunately, due to some copyright claims, he couldn't release it anywhere on YouTube, Facebook, SoundCloud. So he decided to give us a MP3 download version. I'll leave a link down below to the post where you can get it. I really like this cover and I must admit, after I heard Nom Tom's cover, then only I decided to hear Drake's version and I actually preferred Nom Tom's version more. There was a music video that Nom Tom shot for the cover but I guess we'll never see it thanks to the claims. So yeah, but do check Nom Tom out, it's amazing. Number 16 is Boys by Charlie XCX. I found this song because One Ok Rock posted it on their Facebook. I really like Taka for One Ok Rock. And uh, Taka was on the voice in the video and his clips were so short but also sweet. I actually put... Okay, I'm embarrassed to say this but I actually put that uh, a screenshot of like his clip as a wallpaper on my phone. I'll put the picture here. Kind of embarrassed on that. Yeah, it's a wallpaper on my phone now. And the song is super catchy and it's gonna get stuck in your head. Like seriously. I'm warning you on that. Okay, I love how there was actually an Asian representation by having the actor Aris Ame who was in Rogue One, the Star Wars story, Taka One Ok Rock, J Pop, and also Shokichi from EXA making appearances in the music video and it's really cool. Um, okay, in an interview with BBC Radio 1, Charlie XCX um, kind of said like her thinking behind the clip. She wanted to address a gender role reversal and this was what she said. They're basically doing all the sexy things that girls usually do in videos. I started thinking about all the guys that I work with or met throughout all my years in the industry. I just want to flip the male gaze on his head and have you guys do the sexy stuff. So instead of using the man as mere anonymous props like the video girls they're based on, Charlie actually really features the boy. She gives them like specific tasks that are innocent in some way from throwing confetti to reading books to eating sweets. So it's kind of like a slideshow of alternative masculinity. So it's like various waves by men of uh, different races, body types and styles. So yeah, it's amazing um, how she tried to do that. Number 17 is uh, Oceans by, okay I don't know how to pronounce this so I'm just going to spell it out. A-R-M-N-H-M-R featuring N-K-O-L-O. I first actually heard this track through Kafnish of Five Movements Instagram. Cause apparently this act is on their label uh, Trap City. I really 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 love how the instrumental parts and vocals just drive together and oh my god that drop just before that chorus is dope okay. Number 18 is the show I'm done with all my song favorites. Number 18 is Show Me The Money 6 I've been watching Show Me The Money 6 uh, with subs thanks to K-Hip-Hop subs They're the best, yo So the contestants that I am rooting for are Wu Won J and OT I'm not gonna give any spoilers although it's already August so I know some spoilers but I'm not gonna say anything Yeah, so I'm hoping that things will go well for them because they're really really good I really like Wu Won J and I support my boy OT. The producer team that I really like is Zico and Dean because they seem quite fair from what I've been watching. They're very fair in their judgments and I like this style a lot. Number 19 is also a show. It's kind of like, um, how should I put it? Like, almost like a web series, but not really a web series. So it's called Hack Zico. Um, Zico teamed up with Dingo Music on YouTube to do like a short 5 episode reality series. He wanted to show who Wu Ji Ho is and not show Zico. 
And you will really admire his tenacity in working and you will really really feel for him especially since he really is so anti and you will wonder how can he have anti fans when he works so hard. I will give a link to the playlist of the videos in the description box below. Number 20 is Dara TV, Sandara Park, my queen, my Dara Ani. She opened her own YouTube channel. Both me and Oppa love watching the videos because she's so cute, animated, and I love the editing style of the video. It's so adorable. Best part is that she taught of us the international fans and their subs for us. I will leave a link the, to the YouTube channel in the description box below. Number 21 is also another YouTube channel. It's uh, Su Hyun's YouTube channel. So this Su Hyun of Abdo Musician, she opened her own YouTube channel as well, whereby she does makeup looks, talks about makeup, and She's just so adorable and so cute. The editing on her videos are, oh my god, it's way, way, way too cute. And she also has subs on the channel. Link to the YouTube channel as usual in the description box below. And I'm gonna talk about my last three favorites, which are makeup. Yeah. So the first makeup favorite is this. Let's see if you guys can focus on that. Yeah, so this is the Shu Omera Palette Skin Fluid Foundation. So it's supposed to give you poreless coverage and soft radiance. I am in the color 564 Medium Light Sand. So it kind of just blends in nicely with my own natural skin tone. And this foundation is amazing, okay? I've been leaning towards this foundation so much that I kind of neglect my BB cushions. And if you're ever at Shu Omera and Meat Valley, look for Winston because it gives really really top notch service and he was the one who actually matched this foundation to my skin tone. This foundation will give you a uh, my skin but better type of look. It blends so well but um, just a disclaimer that I do use a sponge to put it on so I actually use this sponge to put it on. You kind of really really have to build it into your face but you know once you build it in you look good with it. I'm serious. It is quite pricey to be honest but it's a really good investment because one palm is enough for my entire face and I'm not someone who usually blends down to my neck but because it's kind of like I mentioned my skin tone already but it still has enough to blend to my neck. Like seriously, I just really really love this foundation. And number 23, that was my 22nd favorite. So number 23 is actually these two items here. Yeah. So it's the Tarte Amazonian uh, Clay 12 Hour Blush in Party. And also the Tartius Creamy Matte Lip Paint in Birthday Suit. So yeah. I actually got these samplers as uh, my Sephora Black Card member's birthday gift. So if you are a Sephora Black Card member in Malaysia, you'll be getting this set for your birthday this year. It's now like my go-to everyday lipstick and blush that I'll just toss into my travel slash emergency makeup pouch. I kind of clean up my stuff and found enough samples to make a pouch with it. Seriously, I love how natural it looks and it still gives a nice pick me up to my face so that I don't look like a zombie and yeah, it's great for sample stuff, it's good. My last reel, which is number 24, is this. So this is the Too Faced Sketch Marker Liquid Eyeliner in Espresso. I know I'm a Kat Von D Beauty Eyeliner Girl. But the brown they had was a little too dark for my skin tone. So this brown really matches well with my skin tone. I love the felt tip of this eyeliner. It helps me draw so pre precisely and I can do a look with it like really quickly. It's about the same price as the Kat Von D Beauty Eyeliner. So it depends on what you want actually because the Kat Von D Beauty Eyeliner they have only black or dark brown and um, the sketch marker has like a whole range of colors. They even have blue, pink, white, dark blue. I think there's purple as well. There's also black so it depends on what you want actually. Um, so yeah let me know if you guys want me to do like a very quick like everyday makeup look video that demonstrates to you guys how I use the items. 
And yeah, that's about it. I'm so sorry that today's video is like really long. Um, so yeah, let me know what were your favorites in July. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys again next video. Bye!